GTR. I'm Dan Sindel, and welcome to segment four of learning to play Pachelbel's Canon D Major. Today we're going to be working on section E, which is considered the most famous and most recognizable part of the Canon D Major. And as always, if you haven't downloaded the ebook, please go to www.ezgtr.com, sign up for the newsletter, we'll send you a link to download the ebook, and that'll help you study what we're working on today. Bar 19, section E. We're going to take this nice and slow. We're going to go note for note for you guys. And what we're looking at are some very intricate runs using 16th and 32nd notes. Our first group of notes are two triplets using 16th and 30 seconds. It starts on the high A of the 17th fret there. And it sounds like this. A, F sharp, G. The second triplet repeats itself. A, F sharp, G. So it sounds like this. Now our next note is an A. It's not slurred, as you can see it's not tied. It stands alone with a little dot, which means it's staccato. You play the note with a sharp attack. And what's a good idea is to play that A note in conjunction with the first grouping of triplets, so it would be the end of that melodic idea. So starting from the first triplet of bar E, it would sound like this. One more time. Now our second grouping of notes, we're going to drop down to the lower octave of the A on the 14th fret, and it's going to be a little run going up the neck. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. And that would sound like this. Try and play it as smooth as possible. So let's put those first two groupings of notes together, starting from the top of the measure. One more time. Now our next grouping of notes is a triplet starting on the F sharp, F sharp, D, E, and it ends on F sharp which we play staccato. That's the next little melodic idea. F sharp, D, E, F sharp, which would sound a little bit more like this. From the beginning of the measure now. The last phrase of bar 19 has a grouping of two 30-second notes tied to a grouping of eight 30-second notes. So we're looking at a phrase of 10 30-second notes slurred together. So let's start nice and slow. What we just played before was this little idea. So what we do is we just drop down to our lower octave of the F sharp, and we play the notes F sharp, G, A, B, A, G, A, F sharp, G, I'll play that for you one more time, nice and slow. Now, of course, I'm playing the notes individually just so you can get a sense of what the notes are. But as you can see, the run is tied together, so you want to try and play it as smooth and legato as possible. I'll go ahead and play bar 19 for you, and I'll do it slow. By analyzing bar 20, we can see that our first system is a grouping of two triplets once again. The second system is a run of eight consecutive 30-second notes. The third system is two triplets tied together again. 
And our fourth system is another group of eight thirty second notes. So the first system will sound like this G, B, A, G, F sharp, E. And we're going to pull off from the B to the A and the F sharp to the E on the thirty second notes. So it'll be G, pull off B to A, G, pull off F sharp to E. Let's play that. One more time. Okay, good. Now our next run is eight consecutive 30 second notes, starting on F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Now we'll play it one more time. It'll sound a little bit more like this if you play it up to speed. Okay, let's move to our third system. We've got two triplets again. G, B, A, B, C sharp, D. So it'll sound a little bit more like this. G, B, A, B, C sharp, D. One more time. Now, the fourth system is another group of eight thirty-second notes, starting on our A, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. One more time. So I'll go ahead and play bar twenty for you. And that will do it for today's lesson. So next time around we'll see you and we'll continue with section E, bars 21 and 22. Until then, keep the questions coming in, keep the emails coming in, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.